Hey everybody, good afternoon. It's Rob here in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Wanted to just take a couple of minutes and do a quick review on uh, my helmets that I use. Um, as most of you know, I am a fan of Shoei and um, uh, my my newest per or the purchase that I've been using is the Shoei RF1400. It's a full face helmet. I love this helmet. It's probably the most comfortable helmet that um, I've ever worn. Um, and I, I really do enjoy it, especially out here in the Southwest. Uh, the ventilation in the RF1400 is just excellent. Um, you know, it's just, it, it can be miserably hot out here, but the venting in the front as well as uh, on the top are just so good. And the exhaust, it's got a large exhaust port in the back um, that just allows all this air to circulate through. And it actually does uh, keep the sun off my head and keep me uh, quite cool. And of course, the safety factor with wearing a full face. Uh, there are a couple of gadgets that I do have attached to this. Um, I do have a couple of GoPro mounts. I have um, one on the chin. I have one on top, which I primarily use um, when I'm recording. Um, you can just get a better view um, as I'm riding and facing forward. And of course, I do have the microphone adapters that I can I can pull pull out and attach to my GoPro that sits up on here. Or if I have it on my chin, I can just wrap it around. It's no problem. And it does go underneath the helmet into a um, to a, a set of microphones. I do have two microphones in here, one for the GoPro and one for the Sina, which is the 30K. Um, the helmet itself is not really made or set up for um, attaching a, a Sina mounting bracket. Um, you know, I wish they would make these helmets that were universal for that, but they tried to make these proprietary um, so that um, you can buy the specific adapters that go with these helmets. But, you know, it works. I, I used this on another helmet that I have, and there was no way I was going to pay another $300 plus dollars to go ahead and, and just get another device that is specific for the far RF1400. So that's a, a beautiful helmet. I love it. Um, and, uh, of course, it is um, one that I've been wearing um, as my daily rider uh, for about the last year, a little bit, little bit over a year, right when the 1400s came out is when I bought this one. <laughs> and it is in ballast gray, which uh, is a color that I like uh, quite a bit. And I've gotten a lot of compliments with this this helmet. It's just a, a very useful tool in my arsenal. All right, my second showy helmet is the Neotech 2, which I just got about a week ago. And, um, you know, after riding it for, for about a week, um, using it as kind of my daily driver, so to speak, um, I really like this helmet quite a bit. It fits the same as my showy RF1400. It's a medium size. Um, I, uh, I I think it's very comfortable. It does have very good ventilation and the exhaust uh, on the back end is just about the same as the RF1400. I, I will say this though, when it comes to the ventilation, I do think that the, the RF1400 has better ventilation uh, than the Neotech 2. And and it could be because this, um, you know, it's a flip-up helmet. It's a modular. And, um, you know, it just, um, if you want some air, you can just open up the the uh, visor or you can just flip it up. But, you know, it's not good to ride with it at higher speeds. Although low speeds, you know, not a problem whatsoever. Um, so so it, did, it does work pretty good. Um, it's very... Uh, very nicely made, uh, very high quality that you would expect from from a Shoei. Um, of course, these are premium hel helmets. They they don't give these things away by any means, um, and you do pay about an hundred dollars extra, you know, for the paint scheme. 
but um, I bought the red one because my gold wing is red and um, you know my wife gotta gotta love my wife I mean she said why don't you have a red helmet you know for the for the red bike so I wasn't gonna argue with that and uh, went ahead and ordered it uh, it does have the flip down um, uh, dark visor which I really like the RF 1400 does not have that um, but I do wear sunglasses as well uh, when I'm riding so now that I'm getting my hands all over this thing I'll have to clean it up a little bit uh, one other thing too um, the Neotech 2 does come with a a mountable area where you can add um, the uh, Cena, it's proprietary to this helmet. It's the Cena SRL or the SRL2. It just mounts. This comes off, and you can put it on e either side. It the little plate comes off, detaches, and it slides right in there. It's made to fit flush. Uh, just a little three-button device. Um, the Bluetooth is not um, not as good as the 30K that I have. And I wasn't going to spend another three hundred dollars um, to get something just because it's flush mountable um, with a little bit less functionality. So what I did is I went and I bought another uh, mounting bracket for the thirty k, so I can uh, take take it off my um, let me take it off my RF fourteen hundred real quick, so I can take my Cena off the other helmet. And I can put it uh, directly onto this helmet. Now, let me tell you, um, it was not not easy getting this to mount in a way that I would have been a hundred percent happy with. But again, you know, for the cost savings, um, I used the glue, the three M tape on the helmet itself instead of trying to force the uh, the screw mount underneath here it was just really a nightmare to try to do that and I again I don't know why some of these helmet manufacturers make it really tough on somebody that has and there's a lot of us that have already we have devices that we want to just use them in an interchangeable fashion and we got to jerry rig it to make it work so it's a little funky because it sits kind of back from where it should normally sit and I did try to mount it here, but I just didn't like the way it was. So this is about the best place I could find uh, to mount it. And, uh, you know, I'll, I'll live with that. I'm fine with it. The I got the HD, uh, the the high quality Cena speakers that come with, that don't, don't come with the 30K. You have to buy those extra. Um, but the clarity is just beautiful. And I've ridden with it already. And it's, it's excellent. I just love the functionality of being able to listen to music on my phone uh, through Bluetooth or make phone calls or listen to podcasts or, or whatever. So I'm really happy with it. Um, I do have my GoPro mount as well. And what I did is I I stuck a mic under the little wind sock here, the wind, windbreaker. Uh, I just ripped a little hole in here just cut a little hole and just shoved the mic in here so so that way it'll attach right to my gopro it, it's the perfect size and i just put a little piece of tape in here when i'm using it just to kind of hold it in place so if i don't need to use it i can just pop it right out and just take it out you know and go for a ride without recording if i want to do that but all in all guys i'm really happy with the neotech 2 um, and the RF 1400, they both have their place uh, in my my uh, repertoire of at gag gear. Um, and I won't ride without a helmet. Um, I do fudge sometimes wearing a jacket or not, um, but I do wear Bond body armor uh, most of the time, which is um, under the clothes armor that you can wear, it's very lightweight. It's all mesh and it fits underneath your street clothes. And um, and even in the hot sun, it works very well. Um, so I'll wear that if I'm on a longer trip. If I'm just scooting around town or something, as dangerous as that is in Albuquerque, I don't recommend it. But, you know, sometimes I'll just, you know, wear a T-shirt and go for a ride. And, you know, but I do believe in wearing gear. 
Um, but that's just me. Everybody is welcome to do what they want. So anyways, guys, that's uh, the review of my two showy helmets. Quite happy with them. Not cheap, but uh, really, really good quality. And I'm just uh, excited to have them, especially the Neotech. Um, I really want the flip up for what longer trips now um, so that I can, you know, take a drink of coffee or something when I'm riding or pulling into a gas station. I can flip it up and without having to pull my helmet off if I need to, you know, talk to somebody or whatever the case may be. So anyways, that's it, guys. Talk to you later. Bye.